interactive, whereas now it's much more presentational. So WordPress development projects, uh, WordPress is, is basically it's a rapid development environment for websites. And what this means uh, is that you're going to be developing your site in t short work cycles. Um, this is also part of, uh, of a, basically the new model of software development. It's called Agile. Um, in the case of um, software development and in the case of um, business development, it's called Lean Startup. These are the words that you may have used, but it's sort of the same idea. Is you know you don't spend a million dollars on a website, lay down all the requirements in a 500-page requirements document, hand it to the developer, and say you do it. Okay. What you do nowadays in all of these areas is that you um, develop your site iteratively. So you'll produce a prototype, then you'll produce a second generation's prototype, then a third generation prototype, and and you'll and at, at one point you'll say, hey, it's done. All right, and this is actually a much, much more uh, cost-effective and work-effective way of development. And really, this is one of the the, the, the reasons that WordPress has kind of taken over the the, the space is that it's 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 um, it, it, it's possible to do it. Now, when I say work cycles of one to four hours, I'm talking about basically your site design. I'm not talking about your content and marketing. Um, this is going to take you a lot more time, and it's an ongoing effort. So um, theme selection is what I'm going to talk about here, and it is a most thorny problem. Okay, however, and the reason it's a thorny problem is that um, there's so many themes out there, and um, it's very difficult to choose the best theme for your site if you're not an expert, and you don't know all the themes under the hood, because you can choose a theme that looks good only to discover that it's buggy or that it just can't be customized to your requirement. Um, however, the fact that you know, your site may have three or four generations uh, is in your favor because, uh, you know, most sites that, that are popular sites are going to, you know, you're going to have three or four generations and it's, you, you will often change themes between site generations. I'm going to give you an example in a moment for WP Academy. Um, again, your content um, and your messaging, meaning your, your, your brand, uh, your brand design, your logo, uh, and your messaging are much more important than your site design and graphics. I mean, at, at, let, let me say this, at least as important, all right? And you really, you have to consider the business purpose or the business intent of your site before you look at the design. Um, and let me, how shall I say this? Um, as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, you are expected to know your business. So you're expected to provide a, provide a good product and you're expected to know the needs of your customers, right? Um, but to do business on the web, you need to know more than that, okay? You need to know, actually to do business anywhere, you, you know, you're gonna need to have some kind of marketing plan and you're gonna need to have some kind of knowledge of um, small business marketing. And that's something that your branding consultant is going to help you with. And you're going to need to have some knowledge of uh, a website design and, and graphic design. So, you know, unless you're one of those very rare individuals who, who is able to do all of those things well, you will need to get some help in some of those areas. Um, so you are probably going to need sort of a branding marketing consultant. And uh, you're probably going to need graphic design assistance. Now, the website development you can do yourself. This is what we specialize in teaching you. Website development is actually not that difficult. You know, within five hours for most people, ten hours at, on the outside, you know, you're going to develop some amazing websites. Okay? But if you have a serious business intent, and what I mean by that is if you have a site that's not a hobby site, Okay, or maybe it's, uh, you know, nothing wrong with having a hobby site, by the way, that, you, it, you, you know, WordPress, I really encourage people to get into WordPress and, and just, you know, write personal blogs and write business blogs, and you may just have a website because you love it, and it, you know, and it you know, you know, connects you to people, it gets your name out there, um, there's all kinds of wonderful reasons to have a website, but if your website is your primary livelihood, okay, meaning that you have a serious business intent behind it, um, you're going to... Um, you're going to need some help with this, okay? Um, now, often when you start a business, you're not quite sure. You know, you're not quite sure whether you're going to, whether you're going to get traction. You're not quite sure whether you're even going to like it, okay? So this is where we get into the um, you know the the agile development or the short development cycles. Put up a site. Doesn't have to be uh, a you know 
perfectly designed and uh, beautifully marketed site. Put up a website, see if you get any traction, and once you get some traction and once you get some income coming, well, then you can decide whether you want to invest in the site. And that really, that's the you know that's pretty well how I developed WP Academy um, to the business it is now. So um, here's the first generation of WP Academy site. For example, that you know I started out with just a simple uh, video sales page. All right, just I'm just going to give you just to give you uh, some something to something to compare. Okay, um, this is the second generation. I actually have four generations of, of my website, and I've been through actually through, been through three domain names. Um, and you know, to be perfectly honest, uh, my early websites were pretty awful. And you know, the reason I succeeded was really you know more due to the quality of my product and 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 possibly some marketing partners that I that I affiliated with very very early in the game, rather than the websites itself. All right, so you don't necessarily need a Super professional website, and you know, particularly if you know if you're selling a product that is more suitable to a sales letter format. Sales letter formats still sell, by the way, um, and they're relatively simple to put up. I'll, I'll, I'll explain that in a moment. Okay, but anyway, second generation uh, WP Academy website. Um, this is sort of from the Internet Archive, so it's missing some of the graphics, but nonetheless, you get the idea. Third generation. Um, the you know there was a uh, there was an image there was a video slider in the middle here so it was actually you know quite a bit nicer than this is now but you know look at that header it's awful um, and the the mistake that I made and really uh, this is kind of what I'm teaching you is I'm, I'm sort of giving you the benefit of my experience the mistake that I made was try to do everything myself um, and you know I'm not really a designer I'm a developer okay I don't really have a good graphic sense. So you really have to, you, you need to have an honest assessment of yourself. Do you have good visual sense? And also, do other people agree that you have good graphic sense? And, you know, get get support for the areas that you need and, you know, and be prepared to spend some money. It doesn't have to be a lot of money. And finally, uh, you know, fourth generation, you know, finally, at long last, uh, you, know, we, you know, we get to sort of a modern, you know, well-designed, you know, well-branded website. Okay. So that's sort of WP Academy history, and um, so you know, as I mentioned, if you have serious business, business that you're going to need some help with your branding, your messaging, and your graphics, the WordPress design part you can do yourself. So here's you know here's a thought. Here's some here's some resources here. Um, you can Google web designer um, if you you know if you like to hire someone local, which is a good idea. You like to have face to face. Um, or you like to, you know, uh, support local business, just Google Web Designer on local search. You could also check Craigslist. You could post a job on Odesk. Um, you know, be careful when you post a job on Odesk because you're going to get a lot of, uh, you know, overseas uh, applicants. And overseas applicants in general, um, I won't say this is true always, but often they really don't have, um, you know, North American or modern uh, design sensibilities. You could also ask for a referral from your network. Or you could just take the you know the easy way out. Go with Christopher Stazer, who's you know who's one of our who's my brand designer and graphic artist. And he actually has some special um, deals for you guys. And you know he's not that expensive. Let me just give you that link here. WP Academy special offers. I'm going to copy that to the to the chat window. There you go. One second. Let's get the slides back. Um. Now, uh, you know, warning, it's going to be pricey. It, it, you know, it's going to be more pricey the more you get done. If you want them to do your entire site, obviously it's going to be a different price than if you just kind of give them the website um, template, as it were, uh, do the website template yourself and just tell them what graphics you need. And um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to demonstrate a model for assisted development of a professional WordPress website. This is a site that I'm doing, and the site is Wise Wild Feminine. Uh, relationship and centrality coaching in workshops. Okay. Okay. I'm just looking at the chat. Bob Peter says doesn't want to interrupt you. Please note that all website must be responsive. Uh, that's a very good point, Peter. Um, you know, any good modern theme that you're going to choose, going to choose is going to be responsive, and uh, recommend that you also test it um, in your mobile browser. Look at your website on your phone. And make sure that it's readable. Um, Responsive sites is, is sort of a longer uh, conversation. 
Um, but you know, most any modern theme is going to be responsive to some degree. All right. Okay. Let's let's get into the other questions later and keep on going with wise wild feminine. Okay. So let's let's, let's see what we let's have a look at wise wild feminine. So here's the here's the site right now. So this is a first generation website. The theme is um, uh, Weaver. Two, which is uh, you know sort of the um, beginner theme that I recommend for people because it's quite powerful and it actually can look quite nice. Um, this could be a you know this uh, site could be perfectly adequate you know for a uh, uh, you know if it had good graphics on it. Um, but what you know basically um, Rebecca is has come to the point where you know this is her primary livelihood. It's no longer a hobby business, and she wants the website to reflect that. Um, so you know we've sort of outgrown the Weaver theme, which is natural. And um, so, um, so what we did, you know, we spent an hour. We you know started. We, we to begin this process, we spent an hour with Christopher, and we basically looked at some sites that that um, that we liked, and I'll show them. On, you know, we we found we located two sites that we liked that we'd like to model and or you know reach that degree of professionalism. Um, this is uh, Amy Jo Goddard. She's um, one, you know, famous um, sex full empowerment coach. So this is, you know, you, don't, you you can look at people that are in the same business as you, or you can look at people who are in. They don't have to be. You're just really just looking at their website and design. Okay, this is a really quite a simple website. All right, just basically, you know, the, what makes it nice is this nice header here, professional header, nice video, and then you know, so this is a blog layout, which um, you know, the front page has blogs. Um, you may or may not do that. Most sites are going to have a front, just a, a home page, static page layout, uh, and then all the way to the bottom. Okay, um, very simple site, really. And uh, you're going to find the theme of this site. So you can do that by looking at the page source, view page source, and you're going to look for something that says WP Content Themes here, 1140. Okay, so that's the, that's a Studio Press theme. Then you go then you Google uh, WordPress theme eleven forty. Okay, so that's the theme. All right, um, here's another site that we liked, Amir Rossick. Okay, this um, now this is a site. This is a theme called Dynamic. Um, if you could just chat, that's Dynamic with a with a K. George, chat that in the window. Um, and um, this is an extremely interesting theme. It's a it's a third party or or a third uh, what's it what's called a, a market. Um, market theme, a Studio Press child theme. In other words, it requires the Genesis um, theme framework, and then you install this on top of it. And um, it's essentially, I just discovered this a couple days ago, it's pretty well a high power theme development framework that sits on top of Genesis. Um, it may, uh, your and you know, I you know, I do like the Genesis themes because they're very attractive and they're very powerful. But this really does is it takes the Genesis framework one step further, and it does things like, for example, like notice that every page has a different header. Um, this is a lot of work, by the way. I'm not really sure that it's really necessary to have a different header for every page. Um, and I'll say I'm not really sure that it adds anything. But if you want to do that, you're going to Okay, hold on a sec. Okay, he's talking to me. I don't really want that. Okay, so it's got a different header on every page, and it's got this sort of opt-in box just below the header, which is also custom code. Okay, so this is you know if you're if you're going to do this in a standard theme like like in a standard Studio Press theme, you'd actually have to custom code this. So this is not a good idea. So if you're doing a theme that requires high end or or, or functions that are different than the, um, uh, the you know that are different than what the theme provides, you're going to need you know dynamic. You're going to need a high end theme framework. Okay, so let's start with these two sites. In um, here's the original site. So we spent an hour on this redoing the branding and the messaging. We decided we're going to model this site. Okay. So we spent an hour brainstorming this, and then they turned it over to me as the developer. And here's what I did. Okay. So I did what's called this is a this is a uh, I don't know what you call it. It's a template. It's an early it's an early draft of a website, and I'm basically I'm turning this over to the graphic designer. 
Okay, so I made my very simple graphics. We have, uh, you know, logo, company name, and first tagline, Reclaim Your Juicy Life. Navigation bar on the right. I'm going to make these a little bit bigger. That's easy to do in CSS. Um, we have a, a header here. Now, um, and, uh, you know, we chose, the, the, I think it's called Focus, which is the Studio Press child theme. You know, we looked at all the Studio Press themes. Uh, yeah, so it's called Focus. So, I mean, you sort of, you can tell Studio Press themes. They have nice fonts. They have sort of elegant boxes. Um, uh, uh, so, you know, so I made a very simple, um, you know, trial header messaging here, workshop leader, talk show host, relationship and sensuality coach, and find your authentic sexuality and, vo and voice. So this is the, the preliminary branding messaging that we discovered. So I'm turning this over to the graphic designer to make this, this logo area, to make this header area. You know, she's going to have to come over and, and we're going to have to and take a professional photo of her. Um, she's going to have a video here on the front. And she's, here's, we have another graphic, which is the VFO, what we call the valuable free offer. That's, that's the second graphic, the third graphic that needs to be made. And then uh, we're going to shorten this first page here because it's going to be a video. And then down the here, we have the second graphic, which is get clarity in what you desire, schedule free, gratified life appraisal. Okay? So those three graphics, four graphics, and this site is done. All right? And, you know, we've progressed from basically something that looks like, an, like, like, like she's doing this as a hobby all right, to something that looks, that will look. I mean, it's, it's already an improvement right there, but something that is going to look like she spent $3,000 on it, okay? And she's basically spent probably $500 on this site. Um, give, you know, I'm a developer. I'm developing for free, but, you know, she could have done the development herself. So that's the, um, that's the, the development methodology. That's, the, you know, I call it the Mark's Quick and Dirty Website Development Methodology. Um, just, you know, having this site is going to be a huge boost to her confidence. Um, and really, it's, it's going to make a huge business in her business. It's going to make a huge business to the people who come to the site in terms of the, you know, the initial impression of 